This portion of the demo is going to teach you how to do pitched roofs. And so basically, a pitched roof would be good if you're doing residential areas and they look more like this where you have it going up, you have a peak on your roof. So I'm going to teach you how to do it a couple of different points of view of these peaked roofs. And so we'll start with putting a peaked roof on this one. And this is where you'd really want to be light with your X. But we do need to have an X. So we start off with an X on that side of the building that's going to get the peak. And then you, right in the center of the X, will drag a line up however high you want the peak of your roof to be. We don't want to go too high because then we're going to probably mess with our door. So we'll just have like a low pitched roof. But you are dragging this up and out of this box. And wherever, however high you decide to end, you're going to go ahead and connect that to this corner and then draw a line a little past that corner. So we're going to do that again from the pitch of the roof to the corner of the building. Draw the line coming out past. Let me go a little bit farther so that it's even compared to the other side. And then once I have that, when I'm working on this side, it's a good idea to draw the thickness of the pitch of the roof. And so we don't want it to be paper thin. I'm going to go back through. Draw another line. So we have our thickness. And then the points that are going to go back towards the vanishing point are this one, this one, this one, and this one. It's going to be the same thing if it's cutting through. You don't, you don't take it back, the line just dies. I'm not going to take it all the way to the vanishing point. I am lining up this bottom corner. And I'm going to just kind of draw it back a little ways. I don't want to have to erase all of this, so I'm not going to do that. Then I'm going to slide it up to that other, um, that other mark. I'm doing the top of the roof to the vanishing point. So every single one of these is getting lined up with that same dot. And then this one here is going to be the smallest line. This is going to go and hit the building and then stop because it's going to look like it's going behind that building. Then what we have to do is recreate this same angle from this corner of the building. And so I line this up with the corner of the building. I'm going to tilt it until it looks like it matches. Or you can put it on this angle, slide it out without rotating your ruler. And you're sliding it out until you get to that point. So this angle and this angle match. I draw it down. And then this angle goes back this way. So right on that trim, that angle needs to match this angle. And then erase anything inside of that roof that we don't need. You can erase your original X. We can even erase this line that was once the top of the box until you're just left with the important lines. So everything else is gone. There's our garage. You can take from where this intersects. You could take a horizontal line out towards the street or a driveway. You could put a fence around this, but um, this we can pretty much um, be done with except for adding trim um, and extra little details. You, you might put, I don't know, air conditioner, whatever, on top of this roof if you want to. So this pitch is facing us. It's on the side that faces us. So let's try to do a pitch of a roof that is not on the side that faces us. And so what that would look like, again, you would do an X on that side of the building.
wherever you have the X crossing, that's where a light is going to shoot up. Because that's finding the middle of our building. If you guess on the picture of your roof, it's probably not going to look right. And I drag it up however high I want, um, however high I, I want the picture of the roof to be. The higher I go, the steeper the roof is going to be. Once I have that, I can connect this to the side, the corner of the building, draw it down, and you're drawing it down past the corner of the building. Connect the other side to the corner of the building, but then draw past it. And then we can thicken up by drawing little parallel lines here. This side is farther away, so it will be a thinner thickness of your roof. And then technically, if you go back and check, this one and this one should end on the same receding line. So if you check this and see how mine's hanging down a little bit too much, that means I need to chop. I need to chop all of this off right here or drag this down more. Um, so actually, instead of chopping that off, because I want to show you something, so let me stick that back on. I'm going to drag this one out a little bit more. So I could put a little receding line. It was connecting to the vanishing point, and this is telling me, okay, I need to take this down here logically. So this is going to be a bigger overhang. And then take that back. So that's the end of the pitch of the roof. Then what you do is um, you take the top, and this is going to be completely horizontal, so no angles. Drag that out. Drag that out, and then the thickness of my roof, drag that out. And then I'm going to recreate this angle on the back. So I, I have that angle. I try not to move my ruler, the angle of my ruler. And I drag it out until I get to the corner of the roof, unless you want more of an overhang. And then draw that line. And then this one tilts back at that same angle right there. Erase all of your excess. So I don't need to see the original box on the building anymore because it's hidden by the roof. I can erase my X. Well, you want to draw really light. You may or may not have um, pitched roofs on a, a city street, like a business street, because you don't see a lot of those. Those are more for residential areas. Um, but, but you could be creative with the rooftops. You could put a balcony up here. Uh, if you extend that, come back down, you know, put some railing up here, like a little lookout, um, different little creative things.